and welcome to this week's YouTube video. Today I'm going to talk about perspective. It's quite a complicated topic, however I've tried to make it as simple as I can. To understand perspective, we need to understand what happens to the horizon line as we move about. So it doesn't matter what our position is, the line will always be at the viewer's eye level, as the diagram shows. Starting with one point perspective then, objects will get smaller as they get further away and converge on a single point on the horizon line. We call this single point the vanishing point. As a general rule then, lines proceeding into the distance above the eye level slope down and lines below eye level slope up. I'll show you the diagram again just to highlight this point. Two point perspective then gives us two vanishing points, but this enables us to create much more 3D types of drawing. For example, Understanding perspective is important because by understanding it, we can then break it and still get away with the artwork not looking wrong. To demonstrate then, on this painting we have our horizon line. So I just want to say the horizon line does not always have to pass through everybody's faces. If you were to lay on the floor, for example, you would find the line passing much lower through people's shins perhaps. If you were to kneel, it would probably be through their waists. So don't forget you can set both a low horizon line, which will give you a much more dramatic perspective, and a higher horizon line. But don't forget that moving the horizon line about will affect how you see your object. For really complicated horizon line viewpoints, you will find a lot of artists create small models of what they are trying to paint to help them get the perspective right. But that is a different video, so I'm not going to talk about that much more today. Going back to the painting then, we have one and two point perspective, but let me show you where this is incorrect. See the lighter lines. Because this was an angular painting, I moved the perspective around to help reinforce the symmetry of the artwork. I'm going to show you a second painting as well. The perspective in this one is really off. The car is incorrect. The buildings all converge onto different secondary vanishing points, but it still works because of the angles and the rhythm of the shapes. Remember, we are artists, so departing from perspective for the sake of your artwork is okay. But understanding the rules is really important in helping you know how and when to break them. I hope you have found today's video useful. Please like and subscribe if you can and check out my website sarahhallidayart.com where you will find examples of my work and online classes that I run. Thank you for watching and see you for the next one.